Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Place of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We're rolling with the Eden streak. Do not have one HP. That's a good start. Mom's purse, empty locket, Tammy's head, Y4, D7, K2, V3. It's not a horrible start. Uh, base stats, just on a cursory glance, seem okay. And uh, Tammy's head is actually, I feel like, a maybe like a B or A grade starting item. Because it really compensates for having shit damage. Yeah, I'll go to the Cursed Room right away with the two Spirit Hearts there. And we get Cursed Eye, which I'll take because I'm an idiot. But I also want to see how it works with Tammy's Head, which is uh, apparently not at all. Um, but uh, Tammy's Head mitigates your shit damage, uh, damage so much. So even if you start with poor damage, Tammy's Head makes it... Makes it <laughs> apparently I can't speak anymore. Uh, makes it way more functional. Uh, cursed Eye, on the other hand, does not. But I still take it because if it's not a daily... I'm not... We're not... We're not committed to having to fight uh, Hush, having to do boss rush, and feeling like really bad if they don't actually get completed, so I like to I like to mix it up a little bit. I also like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Any, any Raffi, uh, Raffi fans out there? Probably. Everybody knows banana foam, but only real fucking OGs were there when apples and bananas was popping off. Okay. I don't think we'll be able to one-hit pin. We may not be too far off, though, if we can land it right. What did I tell you? It was a pretty good landing there. We will take experimental treatment. And it didn't take our HP. Alright, so we're taking every dubious item, like, right off the bat here. But it's working out well. Um, yeah, let's open it. We're probably not going to our shop anyway. That is what uh, Empty Locket does. Or is it? It's called Mom's Locket, but from now on, heretofore, it shall be known as Empty Locket. Um... It uh, gives you HP every time you open a chest. I would say that, all things considered, it's not like an immediately useful trinket for us. Um, and that should be relatively obvious, I suppose. But at the same time, it will potentially get better if we get to roll with a lot of red hearts. And even still, we have Mom's Purse, so it's not even really taking up a spot uh, that could go to anything else. I can't stress enough, the, the Tammy's Head pickup, or uh, Tammy's Head start, is basically enabling us to, to fuck around with a, a little bit of... Dangerous shit here like the the Tammy said pickup basically means cursed eye is not gonna manifest its negative uh, Negativity for a little while as a result of the fact that I can uh, just kill most enemies without really having too much of a risk of getting hit Seriously though, thank you. Okay, you explode. Give me the quarter You explode. Give me the quarter. That's not the quarter. That's just a bomb box. O spiders probably a large contingent of uh of people out there who would rather I took Box of Spiders than have... That was really smart. Than have yet another Tammy's Head run. Tammy's Head, I find more fun than an item you just tap once every two rooms. I'm a big fan of it. If we get Brimstone right off the bat, we could have like a nine minute run. Which is not really appealing to me... Oh, right, that's a shop. It's not really appealing to me from a, uh, you know, an efficiency standpoint alone. But rather, it would just be nice to, to get a run that ridiculous on camera, you know? Help. And we're gonna throw a bomb down. And that'll get three. More importantly, kind of leave us safe when it comes to our economical standpoint here. I probably should never have gotten myself hemmed in there. But we're alive. Still one more. Don't get hit by this guy. We've already gone through the trouble of doing the whole fucking room. Alright, we're gonna be out of this floor by like probably... Four and a half minutes. At which point we'll have a deal with the devil. Oh no! Okay, that's fine. But it sucks because we don't have Tammy's head for these. Uh... Oh no! <laughs> all right, all right. Start, start back at one, Brian McKnight. Let's do this. Uh... No, this guy's got to go. Let me throw a bomb down here to get the secret room. No secret room, but we are going to finish this room. Okay, poor performance. There you go. Like I said, uh, not manifesting the negative parts of uh, Tammy's head yet. Except for the fact that we quite clearly are. Don't take so much dumb damage. Uh, if I'm not going for the like automatic items from Deal with the Devil, what do we want? Anything that buffs Tammy's head, honestly. So I would take, like... Ignoring, of course, Death's Touch. You know, Brimstone is an obvious one. Stuff along those lines is, is extremely clear, but uh, ignoring those, 
I would love to see Dark Matter. Pretty good uh, damage upgrade. Tear effect is like relatively not that amazing, but that's okay. Um, the Mark the Pact, of course. Rodden Baby kind of insulates us a little bit from having to obviously shoot laboriously all the time like we do here. Uh, we get a Trinket, which is actually good, and HP that may be useful. Uh, the Trinket is Brown Cap, which I don't think is very good at all. We will get the ability to fly, as well as Missing Page 2. Why did we take the ability to... Or why did we take Missing Page 2? Because if we took the ability to fly, we were going to pay twice for it anyway, or two hearts for it anyway. So we might as well get the other item uh, of value. And we didn't get hit anyway, so it ended up working out just fine. But, um, Goathead is definitely better. Uh, I would say that, unfortunately, we didn't really get that much stronger there, but uh, we did get a little bit more defensible, at least. And both of our trinkets are kind of worthless, but... Starting to realize, my actual damage is pretty piss poor. I'm not sure if it just feels piss poor because it's a reflection of Tammy's head actually being, like, pretty awesome, or if it's actually really bad, but... It's not really getting the job done here in a way that makes my balls hard. That's how it works, right? Man, can you, uh, we'll, we'll take Mom's Locket and Bloody Penny. Those could be better. Can you imagine what it would be like to have male genitalia? If your balls got hard instead of your dick? That'd be, like, way more uncomfortable, right? Look, I'm not a urologist. I'm not a hypothetical urologist. He asked me if I had a degree in urology. I said I've got a theoretical degree in urology. Um, but I gotta imagine that having two, like... Rock hard stones in your jockeys would probably be uh, displeasing. Would be the the most neutral word I could use for it. Great stuff, guys. Already on to the what? What would it be like if your balls got boners? Discussion. Um, I think our HP is fine. Oh my god, Tomo, you want in? These cats, they. They treat this like they've got, you know, two different properties. They summer in my room, and then they go eat in the living room, and then they come back uh, for a little, you know, staycation. As much as I may not be loving this shit right here, L-I-M-P Biscuit is right here. Yo, you know what would be a great review for a substandard biscuit pre-made packaging product? Limp Bisquick. It sort of, sort of works. Really, ah, oh, there we go. Okay, well, we teleported through the room that I hated anyway. Um, not, not a huge fan of the very limited damage we're doing here. But that can change. Did experimental treatment fuck us on that, or has our damage always been bad? I just didn't really look. Hogalaz? Only reason I knew it was Hogalaz is because we got a bunch of flipping spiders. Or uh, spider webs got crushed, I should say. So, you know what would actually work really well in conjunction with our run right now? Sure, anything that makes Tammy's head more powerful is good. But, actually, I think something like Toxic Shock would be awesome. Just like really, really not doing a whole lot of damage to enemies. Make me much... You're not dead from that? Come on. It would make me much happier if, uh... We could maybe have a little bit of aid when it comes to killing them. Being able to kill, like, two enemies per room is an okay start, but... We're gonna be slowing down massively here. Remember when I was talking about having, like, an eight-minute run? Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen here. Okay, didn't get hit. I'd like you to drop a bomb so I could place it over there. We're rolling exclusively on spirit hearts, so... I may not be in a fantastic position right now when it comes to actually getting a deal. Come on, you've wounded one at least. There we go, one more dead. Worst case scenario would definitely be like a deal with the devil that's too tempting to let go. Abaddon would be ideal actually. Something that gives us a lot of HP. Nine lives would be acceptable. Abaddon would be ideal. The pact would also be sweet. I'm just, I'm spitballing here. Because basically we have unlimited amounts of free time while we wait for these fucking enemies to die. Okay, two bombs and an Emperor card. 
Lucky break that we hit him there. Um, the Emperor card is pretty sweet if we get HP on this floor, but like can't manage to make it work for us. Uh, I can't kill this. I can't kill this nub. So I guess we're just gonna be here forever. This could be a secret room. Let's let's take a quick look. I buy it. I believe we got a key as well. Not a secret room. That's okay. We need to save our other bomb. I have faith. Another alternative would actually just be an orbital. If they could, ooh, one of these is a library. Which one though? I think we started in this room. Oh, these guys are still shooting. Yeah, okay, so we get Book of Revelations. This is actually a huge get for us, even though it may not seem like it. Um, because I know there's a battery charge as well, but I'm not in the market to min-max like that because I'm lazy. Um, that's probably our secret room there. This is huge because we'll probably fight Pestilence. And we have Whore of Babylon. Not Whore of Babylon. Nod Leaf. Those aren't even close. Um, which means... Oh, and also Magic Mush. Uh... And the one makes you small, which compensates for magic mush making us large. Um, which means we can just stand still when we enter a room. And enemies that walk into us will be killed, like, super quickly. Uh, by our cube of meat, which is awesome. So magic mush... <laughs> magic mush... Magic mush is pretty huge. Uh, from every standpoint that I could possibly consider relevant at this point. Our damage is still relatively shitty, but that's kind of a product of Cursed Eye, and, you know, we charge up a shot, and then three out of the four shots that consist of that barrage, or create that barrage, actually create, um, you know, knockback so that we don't hit the enemy. But this cube of meat is going to be big as well. And we can take a deal with the devil, because we know we have one red heart. And we'll take, uh, we'll take Guppy's Collar there, and not the other one. We'll just slow our roll on that. We might be able to take Gimpy, but we might not be able to afford it, so... We could have afforded it. It would have been a, a touch risky, at least. Um, we may Emperor card out of here. Please give me a key. That's not a key. That's a Justice card that gave us a Spirit Heart and a key. You know, I've decided I don't really want to fight these guys. So let's Emperor card out. We got the husk. We got the power. Let's not teleport. I've decided I wish to not teleport. Any minute now. Yo, little haunt, this is actually pretty dope. You're keeping him in my radius for a while. He's coming around the mountain when he comes, when he comes. We got more HP. Come on. Give me give me the damage I so desire. Oh, that's the shit right there. Death's touch. Okay, now every touch of the spacebar item will absolutely destroy enemies. And this run has now become, again, a joy to be a part of, even with Cursed Eye. I don't think Cursed Eye ever really spoiled the run. I think it just didn't quite have the stats that I considered it to have earlier. Now it does. Now it does. I'm just crushing it. Uh, so we'll go back. We'll look for our item rooms. We'll look for our shops. We'll look for our uh, other things that should be pluralized that should not be pluralized because uh, there's only one of them on the floor, but... What are you, a cop or something? Are you a cop? You gotta tell me. I often wonder about that. So apparently that's a big misconception. Um, as, as everyone who has seen Breaking Bad has an anecdotal story about. But apparently a cop doesn't actually have to tell you that they're a cop. And when I heard that, I was like, yeah, right? Like... It's not... Like, crime is not a game, right? They're trying to get, like, criminals off the streets. I don't think that there's just a question you can ask them. There's Sackboy, by the way, which is pretty dope. I don't think there's just a question you can ask police that automatically, like, invalidates their efforts to get you. It's not like hide-and-seek, right? Oh, you got me. Yeah, I'm a cop. Whoa, I almost had you there for a second, but turns out you uttered the magical phrase that uh, renders me incapable of doing my job. Don't take this as, like, an explicitly pro-police stance. I'm just saying. I, I, I always wondered if that was real. Otherwise, if you're about to, like, jaywalk, couldn't you just shout, like, Yo! Are you a cop? If you're a cop, you gotta tell me! You just, like, well, yes, your honor, I recognize that, um, my DNA was found on the body, and I was the last person to see the victim alive, but as I was murdering them, I shouted, Yo! Is anybody a cop? If you're a cop, you gotta tell me! 
And then the judge says, fuck. He's got us. No, I'm not. We've had so many opportunities to do Tammy's head, uh, Dr. Fetus lately. And I'm just not buying in. Yeah, if you think that makes me a little B with a little P, then then that makes me a little B with a little P in your mind. That's okay, but if you're a cop, you gotta fucking tell me, okay? 99 bombs, that's the shit right there. But, um... We, we've done several uh, Dr. Fetus runs lately, so I don't feel like a little B with a little P. I feel like, you know, normal size D with a normal size P. You know, that's, that's as much as I'm gonna get into... As much as I'm gonna get into things there. Now, if we could just get one last guppy item. I know I'm asking for a lot, but you know, maybe just like one more guppy item would certainly tie the whole run together here, wouldn't it? I don't understand why the gray guys are the only ones you have to kill. The red guys you can kill. But they'll die. Oh, heck yeah. Uh, we'll fight Mega Satan. I hate it because I would relish the opportunity. What are we on here? Dank Depths 1. I would relish the opportunity to just use Tammy's head forever here because it's awesome. But still. Um, guess we'll we'll take Dad's key with us. Basically, our, our way of saying thank you for giving us a great run is to take Dad's key and fight Mega Satan. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. I do like fighting Mega Satan does tie the run together, makes every run feel a little more special, you know? Harvey's makes your hamburger a beautiful thing and all that. Good enough. Alright. Yeah, that's a pretty low chance to find a secret room there, I'd say. But not much of a waste regardless. Now I need something that ups our damage again, because I'm feeling inadequate. You know, before we had Tammy's head and we were... Wrecking face, now we're just, you know, doing like a normal amount of damage to the face, I'd say. What does it, where does wrecking face come from? I understand the, the meaning of the term, you're destroying someone's face. Does it come from a particular piece of media? I mean, in Magic the Gathering, you say like, oh, I'll swing, you know, I'll swing everybody to face, and that means you're swinging at the player, but I, d I doubt it's entered, you know, modern parlance from Magic the Gathering, it probably went the other direction, if anything, but... You know, I, I'm not beholden to it one way or the other, I just, I'm interested in the etymological archaeology of it. Did get a deal with the devil, also got a box with... Uh, I don't know, some people seem to think that this is an awesome trinket, the fuse cutters. I kinda default to it not really mattering much. Yeah, we'll probably take both. There's a little brimstone action for us. I don't, I don't think the fuse cutters are that good. Sometimes they're kind of funny, but uh, apart from that, I don't think they're, like, they're a huge difference one way or the other. Now, it is important. Let's not uh, completely screw ourselves by taking a bunch of damage. Okay, I guess I'm out. <laughs> by taking a bunch of damage, especially from champions. Uh, we're totally set, except for the fact that we have a little bit lower HP than maybe Desirous. Yeah, let's give this a try before we go back in there. Um, the Fool is exactly the card we're looking for as well. And you know what? Now I've decided we're not going to do this room. We're going to bounce. Oh, it didn't work! Dad's key, you screwed me! You didn't open up the door. I thought we could escape. Charge time on this is fucking forever, by the way. So now I do still wish we had Tammy's head. If only there was a way to carry Tammy's head, but also carry... Um, uh, but also carry Dad's key with us. I guess there is if you get the key pieces. So I think that maybe Cursed Eye Brimstone is a horrible synergy the likes of which the world has never seen before. Because it's taken forever to charge up a shot. To the point where I'm like, maybe I'm actually better off using my cube of meat to do half of this shit. Which is pretty sad. HP please. Ooh, it's our guppy item! Guppy Brimstone! I wouldn't have expected that! What a landmark surprise! Mm, Guppy always told me what's alright is right Gotta get a little feel and delight Don't remember many of the other words But the tune goes like this and then you get a little higher Rune is Yera. 
Uh, I like the fool better just to get out of the boss rush uh, immediately. Hey, we're already making a compromise to take um, to take Dad's key all the way down here. We're definitely not taking Isaac's jar of fucking tears. I'll tell you that much. Infamy is a good pickup though, and you know what? Let's just donate as much money as we can here. We've been kind of steamrolling the past few runs. Brimstone, Guppy, Mom's Knife, Guppy. Forget what our last run was. It was Guppy something. It was it was extremely powerful. So I uh, I just want to give credit where credit is due and say hey thanks game. Bad trip is not my favorite here. Infested is at least a spider or two. Lemon party's okay, but we need to be able to teleport out. Hey friends till the end. I'm still surprised to see this because it was out of the game for so long. But welcome back. Your dreams were your ticket out and whatever, I don't know. Second secret room is here. Just want to roast and toast these turkeys. Okay, definitely can get into boss rush. That's a regular secret room. My mistake. Alright, let's just, let's go for it. I'm ready. That will get the job done. Okay, pretty good. Deal with the Devil is Krampus. This is like your ideal opportunity to fight Krampus as well. Even if Lump of Coal maybe is not that amazing for us right here. PhD. Friendly Ball. Monstro's Lung. Daddy Long Legs. Daddy Long Legs is more than an acceptable pickup. When I hear that old song they used to play. Well, one more penny we could donate, I suppose. But apart from that, we are uh, on our way here. Daddy Long Legs, good pickup. PhD, also pretty good. Ooh, there was a tinted rock down here that I missed. Not really worth the investment, but actually, like, literally worth the investment. But I'm just salty it wasn't Spirit Hearts, I guess. Uh, but we had 96 bombs and didn't blow up any of the freaking uh, blue fires, so... I guess I'd, it's time to put my money where my mouth is. Good. Spirit Heart. Uh, I wasted a key, so I guess I, I spent two keys there, but that's alright. Joker, maybe? Two of hearts? Effectively pretty worthless. Wow, I actually didn't realize how low on HP we were. Were we literally on one spirit heart at the end of that floor? That's really scary. <laughs> I thought we were doing substantially better than that. Alright. No, no, no pressure, I guess. Watch battery. I mean, we don't really need Dad's key to have more charges. Not that our other trinkets are doing jack shit for us, but... It's like the w least opportunistic um, mom's purse opportunities we've ever had. Sure, we'll, we'll split the difference, I guess. Taking the tower card with us. There's no reason really not to take two of hearts. Uh, apart from laziness. Oh god, the Hierophant and two spirit hearts. Okay, now I can afford to be lazy, so this is even better. And then there's a the Tinted Rock right over here. Why was I ever worried about HP? We're back to six of it. Probably enough to live on for the rest of the game. I hope. That gives us a chance to generate more spirit hearts as well. Where the hell did all these spirit hearts come from? I'm so happy. We will roll, um... We will roll with Perthro. A little bit more of a valuable trinket for us. Probably save it for the chest. Decided I don't want to be a part of that room anymore. Uh, we should go for that key as well. Because we may fight Hush on this run. I mean, I, I don't need to. And having Cursed Eye, you know, does make me question it. But I also sort of feel like Cursed Eye with Brimstone doesn't really hurt us that much. Probably? Like, we can't... I, mean, I haven't teleported since picking up Brimstone, at least. Monstro's Lung Brimstone doesn't work yet, right? So I didn't miss out by not taking Monstro's Lung. It would have just given us the most ridiculously charged uh, charge time Brimstone in video game history. Is my guess, at least. Okay. The Fallen is like an ideal boss fight for us. Uh, I don't know if we'll do Hush. I'm just looking at our HP and I'm like, ah, it's not great. A Thame doesn't really help us out too much. Little Brim is good. And I'm going to take it. Even though it's uh, potentially going to put us in range of perhaps death. Why take Little Brimstone then? Basically because, again, I think it's all about saying thank you. We were almost dead. The game gave us a bunch of spirit hearts. So we're saying thank you by giving those spirit hearts back. Some people may classify that as idiocy. I think it's, it's just being a gracious person. 
already got our spirit heart. And uh, one of our spirit hearts back anyway. It's a start. Mind you, I would really like to pick up some more uh, spirit hearts as soon as possible, which is the whole reason I'm doing this room in the first place. Remember, we can't get out for free here. Cricket's head? Decidedly not Cricket's head. You have to admit, though, the more we say thank you to the game, the more the game's been saying thank you back. Have we or have we not picked up way more spirit hearts in the last two floors than we have for pretty much the rest of the run altogether? You don't need to answer that question. The answer that I'm looking for is very obvious. Ooh, the Cancer Trinket is actually incredibly useful for us here. Hierophon? Oh, it is the Hierophon! What a, you say thank you to the game sometimes. Game says thanks back. I appreciate you, game. You appreciate me. We appreciate each other. We're a hap happy family. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you, won't you say you love me too? Should be using uh, Dad's key a little bit more often. Let's get in the habit. We want to make sure our spacebar finger is uh, warmed up. That's actually a thumb, I guess, but... We want to make sure the spacebar thumb is warmed up by the time we get down to that uh, chest so we don't mess it up. Gotta admit, the charge time on this brimstone is still real long. First I thought there was nothing in here. And then I realized that, if while not literally true, it's still like functionally very similar. Ah, I tried to shoot the moon. I'm still gonna have to go back though. Or we could use one of our 97 bombs to skip it, but... When a problem comes along, you must skip it. That's actually terrible advice. It's gonna lead to having, you know, avoidant personality traits. Uh, you know, as, uh, as an adult, you can't afford to have those. As a kid, you know, your mom will call Microsoft to get you, uh, you know, she'll, she'll yell at the people on the other end of the phone for you. As an adult, you gotta do that stuff yourself, you know? We did have Goathead, yeah, so I was like, get ready. Um, you know what? This time I'm not going to say thank you to the game. And I'm very eager to see how not saying thank you to the game is going to affect us here. It would be really disappointing if uh, it affected us by just killing me on this floor. But I, I think the odds of that are pretty low. The last three runs I've done... You know, I, I sat down after the NLSS today and was basically like... Let's do, all right, let's do a fuck ton of uh, Isaac episodes. And so far... The game has indulged me pretty nicely. These have been like 25 minute, pretty high damage fun runs. I've had a good time with it. And I, uh, I'm glad the game is, is treating me with the respect that I feel I sometimes deserve. Not always, no, not, nobody's deserving of respect all the time. You should treat other people with respect, but that doesn't mean they always deserve it. Some people are shitheads. Well, I, like everybody's a shithead, like at least 1% of the time. Some people are shitheads like 99% of the time. But everybody's got some moments where they are just, you know, shitty. It happens to the best of us. Mother Teresa? Well, I, she's kind of a hot button issue to begin with. And a little bit of a hot number, if you know what I mean. Let's, you know, she has been dead for 19 years. But, uh, you know, I was basically just mining that for some easy humor. I don't feel great about it. It doesn't make me a master comedian or anything. Um... But you, you gotta give people the benefit of the doubt. You gotta treat them with respect first. And then after they cut you off in their beamer, give you the middle finger, you go, oh, that is a shithead. Okay. I'm not buying my hot dogs from you anymore, Mr. Oscar Meyer. Odd Mushroom's good. Maybe Beelzebub? I didn't really keep track. Sissy Longlegs is okay. Uh, apart from that, we're just going to... Oh, Perthrow! Tech point five. Nothing wrong with this. We've done some Mega Satan. We've done some... We've done some hush. We've done some fast runs. It's been just like an all-around good time. The flies are still the... Like the godsend for us right now. I thought maybe we could kill death with the flies we generated from killing pestilence. Not quite, apparently. Okay, good stuff. We had a full charge waiting. Dropped a bunch of brimstone shots on his candy ass. Okay, tons of flies generated there. I'll wait. I got a fully charged shot. I'll wait. That's the good stuff right there. That's what we're waiting for. You are also dead. And you are also dead. This is a really easy Mega Satan fight. It's like the ideal circumstance to fight Mega Satan. 
Kill him before he does any attacks. Kill all his waves before they do any attacks. What? That guy was way tankier than I expected. All right, we're kind of we're gonna be done by twenty-seven thirty here. That is good timing. Very fast run. As we didn't really do boss rush or hush, but we also didn't come up with a song as good as. Uh, don't want to miss a wing by Steven Tyler for the Buffalo Wild Wings Restaurant Corporation. But still, you know, it's... I treat it as a positive. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.